For today, in the name of freedom, we take the battle to them. Quarter pounder with a hot and spicy patty. Which I've never had. And you are like addicted to. They're so good. Your mom's so good. Oh! <laughs> What's up, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman, baby, the big dog, is here today. Welcome, one, and welcome all to another episode of my epic toy hunting series, guys. We are here at Target, the other Target, not the one that we cannot film at, and we're going to check out what they have for the stock. A lot of things are coming in. New Wave is starting to make its way into the United States with Top Spin and Blitzwing and Clip Jumper and all these other great guys. So who knows what we'll find. That's why we're here. On to the hunt. It's been a while, so not really sure what we're gonna see. It'd be cool if we find Starscream, but that's not likely. Um, God, this freaking mask is terrible. Every time I breathe in, it goes in my nose. I don't. So it's really hard to speak and breathe. I don't have a mask. He's like, I don't have a mask. <laughs> I don't have one. Thug life. No, I need one. The COVID life chose me. First of all, this is, don't cancel me. This is worse than people not people shopping. There are people working, Isn't so that? we don't know how long that's gonna last. People are working in the Transformers aisle right now. <laughs> they're working and they're fired. We'll keep an eye on the situation and then we'll let you guys know. I can't, see, I can't look at any of that and think the same thing anymore. I do wanna say, this, well, the toy hunt that you guys saw, episode 61, was pre Chadwick Bozeman's death and pre Hurricane Laura. Right. We did survive Whoa. the hurricane. Um, I had to evacuate because I didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> but my house is fine. Nothing happened. We didn't flood, none of that. There was a tree behind my house, too. It's not too big, but it didn't harm anything. And so me and Shady are good. And, and Ch Chadwick, <sighs> that destroyed my soul. Have you ever watched 21 Bridges? I saw, that's my second favorite movie that Chadwick made, 21 Bridges. Yeah. Um, Black Panther, of course, being my favorite, but uh, 21 Bridges was my second favorite. I think we went, we went at the same time to the theaters. We both went to see that. Mm -hmm. That was really, really good. And it's just, it's, it's terrible, man. We won't see him anymore. We won't see anything from him. That's it. It's just like he's done. It's just, it's, it's just so not fair. <laughs> like, you know, he was a good, actually a good person that it was fighting to continue to give us good content, even though he himself was going through struggles. And I never knew he actually had the cancer while filming Black Panther. I can never watch that movie. It's the same again. Here we go. Show him a wide. This is a, this is an idea of what we've got here. And I'm actually very satisfied. If you can take a look. We've got a good bit of leaders. Hey, we got Shockwave, my boy! Shockwave, my favorite studio series of all time. The most detailed and accurate studio series in the history of the live action franchise. I really think he is one of the best improvements we've ever seen from Hasbro. Uh, thus far, uh, we got some Wave 1 Megatrons here, and then we have a... We've got a Thundercracker, but it's not an Earthrise. I'm not sure if the one that I saw before was an Earthrise or not, but... We've got a Thundercracker there, and then we have an Earthrise Starscream for uh, Voyager class. And then we got some Studio Series Voyager class, which, you know, I'm a movie guy, so this is, this is my thing. Mixmaster here for Avengers to Fall in. We don't, we usually see Mixmaster with the 2007 Megatron. That's not the case here. But we do have Roadbuster, which is part of the new wave. And we've got uh, Studio Series 50 Hot Rod for World War II. We've seen these couple a uh, few times, and so that's kind of normal. Uh, so I'm glad we see those, and uh, 
Look at this. Scavenger, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We got a scavenger and another shockwave behind him. Those are 55 and 56. They were released together. Uh, they began to circulate in the stores together. No overload, though. So that's... <laughs> that's interesting. Check this out. Let's go. We got the brand new masterpiece. <laughs> Leo. I don't think they could see our face in the Leo. background. Dude. I'm, you know what? Um, dude, what? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's so quiet in here. I can't scream. But I want to. <laughs> Guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, do we have left foot? Oh my god, wait. I didn't even look for left foot. I don't see any left foot. Nothing stuck out to me. Um, I don't think they, they have the, they have the label. Look at that. They got the left foot label for, uh, Deluxe Class, but he's not here. But he's showing up, and I think Top Spin is showing up. Now, some people have showed me Top Spin. I don't know if they're, like, within the states or not, but a couple of Alfanzos have found Top Spin, which is awesome. But this is the crown jewel. This is the crown jewel. Dude, this is probably the best Starscream. Movie star screen that I've ever I'm, created. I'm, I Leonardo. Leonardo. This 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 ghost this, I just want to look at it. <laughs> He's like, I just want it. Oh I just need goodness. it in my life right now. Dude, it looks so good. Dude, Leonardo. Masterpiece star screen, baby. Oh yes. my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <My> heart. <laughs> He's like in the yard oh <laughs> of an angel. Dude, wow. Dude. Wow. You get the spotlight. I know Starstream is your boy, wow. man. Wow. That jet. Tell it to the boxing? <laughs> He's like, can I fight right now? Okay, dude. Oh my yeah. gosh. How much so is it? So what do you think? One forty nine ninety nine. Guys. One forty nine ninety nine. One forty nine. Not bad. Check him out, baby. Leonardo has Starstream oh my goodness. masterpiece in his hands. This is this is historic. This is the masterpiece. <laughs> this, this is the masterpiece. masterpiece. Um yeah, so that's the MPM uh, 10 Starscream. That's from 2007 Transformers. It's not from the original of Fallen, so it's not with the hieroglyphs. <laughs> Guys, this made the hunt. This made the hunt. The, yeah, this it literally the makes the hunt. It makes the hunt. Like this right here is the reason why we came. Yeah, yeah that's it. Starscream. Beautiful box, by the way. Oh my god. And he's actually I much larger this, than this I thought. So much out. Yeah. Wow. Awesome, man. Looks so good. <laughs> he makes your, your Voyager class star screen look like Pity. a little boy. <laughs> like a kid. It's it's awesome to know that we're going to be seeing this guy and potentially Ratchet in the future. But, wow. <laughs> I'm just... <sighs> but we do have this one, and this is a very successful hunt. Just because we have this, so really awesome stuff. He's a star screen. <laughs> He's a star. He's a scream. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm a child. I need. I need to go. I need to go. Look at that. Wow. It's actually like it actually has Bumblebee on it though. Genuinely. Like it's Transformers branded. Looks good. That's like a, the last night thing, back in the last night era, but it's still hanging around. That's dope. Just one more time, kind of show them what we got. And this is the target that I'm very satisfied. We finally have Masterpiece movie series star screen in the building. Leonardo's life is made. And this hunt is made. Onward to the next door. Well, would you look at that? We made it. We to made the it. Car. Look at that, folks. That's the target that we <laughs> have been thug lifing so much. We're here, and uh, I went. This is the one we came to previously. So this is the target that we came to last time that we've been, you know, banned from. But we still come. And I want to just come here real quick on the way to the next door. Because I want to show you guys, literally, like, one day, there's, like, a good bit of stuff, but not everything that they have. And the next day. The very next day. Like yeah. Scorponok, <laughs> Skylings, Starscream, Masterpiece. Like, literally, that's what they... This is... It's a weird store. So I'll come here... This is only a few days after the last hunt, and I bet you there's some other stuff there that wasn't there before. That's what they've been doing, so I'm going to show you that, and then we're going to move to the next one. That good? We made it to Walmart. Made it to Walmart? We made it to Walmart. Yeah. Oh, boom. <laughs> Dude. Jurassic World hunt, man. What? 
show me. See? There's two of them. Didn't I freaking tell you that? There's two. Look at that. We were just here, you know, when we talked to the police about the, you know. We were just here. No NPM Star Scream. Nothing. And the no. day after I came to shop, they had Scorponox. I come back a few days after that, Scorponox is gone. But Skylinks is here. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? It's like, oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is so nice. The Earthrise packaging is so friggin' nice. Oh, see, man. if Masterpiece was this heavy, Could if Starscream was this heavy. I Honestly, though, I think he... I don't think he's like... This is nice. I don't think he's as like... See, Siege has some big fat parts. He's a skinny little guy. He's a little Dorito. But he's a jet. He's a Dorito. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is the same, though. We got... Pretty much everything else, pretty, yeah. Standard stuff. Clip jumper. <laughs> got Megatron. Sentinel Prime, baby, let's go. But Starscream is here, and I'm telling you. There's two of them, too. Just a few, like a couple days ago, we had Scorponox. And I was hoping to come here to show you. Because literally, and watch, tomorrow, he'll be back. I don't know what the fuck is going on. No left foot. Look at this. Now they have two. Come closer. Check this out. Left foot. Two left foot. Tags with no lead foot figure. Got freaking snam it. So, Raging Nation, sorry, but as soon as I get it, I'll let you know. I'm not seeing any. Oh! oh! Dude! I don't think. I don't remember. I don't think Overload was here. Was he here? Yeah, I think so. He, he was? Okay. Um. Well, yeah, he's there again. No, he wasn't. No? He wasn't. Maybe he was, another, he was in the other store. Thundercracker, I found in this one. Maybe. And I bet you he's gone. <laughs> it's just, y you know, the stock fluctuates. And I guess they're buying them? I really don't know. I don't know if they're buying them or they're moving them. But regardless, here's another wide. I'll show you of what we got. It's beautiful. That's Starscream, man. And they actually have more than one in this one, so that's pretty cool. If I ever get Starscream, I'm going to get it from Shozy Store because of the... Insane. I don't want to flex. I don't like flexing. This sounds like an ad for a show. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> not spot. Well, actually sponsored um, by Shoji Store. No, um, if I ever get this Starscream, I'm not going to get them full price. I'm going to get them somewhere else. And I'm thinking about that, but there's some other figures I want to get too that I've been debating. So I can't get them all at once because, you know, I'm an adult now. I got a home. And I, can't just, I can't just splurge like I want to do or like I did before, but... Um, I'll eventually get them all, but Starscream right now, I think I'm going to wait. That's my, as bad as I want him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but he's beautiful. So many times we lie, okay? Hold, I lie hold, so much. Hold that thought. Oh, what thought? First off, Alfonso wanted to say um, he has never eaten a pie before. I've never had it. Like, <laughs> like pumpkin pie, on the camera for that. apple pie, <laughs> like... Any peach cobbler, that's a pie as well, I think, right? I don't know. Not, I've never had pie. Eaten. He Don't hasn't come eaten for pie. me. You're coming so, for me. This is what this is. We have a pie today. So for this mug chat, first of all, welcome to the mug chat. <laughs> We've got McDonald's. We don't... Why are the bags are so big, they're not? I don't know. We got... We're simple today. But can we start off with the pies? Because sometimes, yeah, we've got pie. Sometimes we don't really like have like we don't, we're not hungry. We just do the eating for the mug chat. So we just was like, I'm just gonna grab some nuggets. I told Leo just now that I've never had pie. I've never eaten any kind of pie, and he's coming for me. So we're going. We're doing pie. That's that's, that's what we're gonna do. Isn't it? it? Smells good. Open it. What's it? I, like isn't it filled with it's something? Apple. Yeah, apple pie. Oh my god, and it's warm. Oh my god. I can't deal with it right now. So I good. think I'm going to try with a pie for the first time in my life. My mouth is watering right now. Mm. Five. Four. My first time in my whole life. <laughs> Holy Three, crap. Two. two one. one. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. What it thinking? And you also did take a bite of the crispy side. What's the non-crispy side? Wow. One out of ten. Wow, this is good. The crispy side is what it, like helps it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's what makes it good. Okay. <laughs> I'm twenty-three. 
And I just had my first pie. Right. That's weird. Whoa. That's crazy. There's a lot of things I haven't tried. I'm a, I'm a very plain person, so I stick with the basic stuff. I don't try new things, but I told myself I'm going to start doing that. This is pretty basic. This is basic. Yeah. But it's not for me, because I never had it. <laughs> this is good. One out of ten. Um, on a scale from one to ten, I'd say this would be... There's also one called a strawberry parfait. Dude. That sounds good. A strawberry version of this. Mm -hmm. On a scale from one to ten, I'd give this a good... Nine? I'd give it an eight. An eight? Okay. Would you ever buy 3A B-Movie Optimus Keep the Great Work Up? Um, yeah. He's on my list. Um, the 3A Movie Optimus for Bumblebee Movie. Um, I got the 5U model Bumblebee, so it, it kind of replicates the Bumblebee character. And I want the 3A song wave. Well, the 3-0 song wave. That's a must. I'm debating on premier, premier, or I'm sorry, premium or deluxe scale. Because I love my premium scale Optimus for the last night. But I think deluxe is good. I mean, I don't really need to have anything massive like that. And they're more expensive anyway. <laughs> if you had to remove Optimus, B, Megatron, or Starscream from every Transformers media from now on. Which one would you choose? You had to take at least one of them. Optimus B, Megatron, and Starscream from everything from now on. Megatron. Really? Yeah. You remove Mega. Wow, he really likes Starscream. I just think Starscream could play a huge role. Because Starscream. You would remove the leader of Decepticons. Yeah, and make Starscream the leader of Decepticons. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell not? Yeah, and Starscream's taking over. He wants to do it anyway. Wow, Megatron. I kind of like him. I feel like you'd go with Starscream. You wouldn't take me out. But I like. I know. It's like I'm stuck. I mean, like I don't. I don't see. Bum I don't see Transformers without Bumblebee. I don't see it without Optimus. I don't see it without Optimus or Megatron. They're the main. They're the two main leaders. Mm -hmm. but Starscream has died before, and it kind of moved on a little bit. So, as much as I love him, it would hurt. But I would have to remove him. <laughs> hey Alfonso Prime, if you TF if you TFI Creations would ask you to voice a character for his stop motion, would you do it? TFI is my boy. Anything he wants, I got him. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything because he's gonna really come for me. He's gonna say some stupid and then be like, "You said anything?" But yeah, I would totally voice. I don't know what character I would voice, but. I would. I mean, if he wants me to do it, I'll do it. For both, again, which is your guys' favorite Transformers spin-off film and studio series figure out of the whole line or franchise? So what's your favorite Transformers spin-off film? Dark of the Moon was pretty good. Dark of the Moon? It was pretty good, but... I know what you're going to say. At the same time, the last night did really good in my eyes. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. So the last night. Last night, okay. And your favorite studio series figure? <laughs> I need to get another start. <laughs> uh huh. One without hieroglyphics, though, would be nice. Would be nice. One without hieroglyphics. A star screen without hieroglyphics? They have them. Yeah, but I'm saying getting one would be nice. Oh, yeah. It would be nice. So you're sticking with star screen, basically, is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, mine is Shockwave. Really? Yeah. Shockwave has the only figure so far that has dethroned Optimus from my favorites. By the way, you'll see the light go down because the sun's going down. So, there's that. What is something you want to see in Transformers that has never been done or seen before? Less humans. That's a good question. Less humans. Less humans? Less humans. No, what do you, like, never before seen? In the movies of Transformers? Like, no, no humans. No humans, straight on like uh -huh. Cybertron. Like I want it all on Cybertron. Okay, I got you. Like an all Cybertron <coughs> film. That's a, that's what. More from most... Cybertron to more Transformer worlds, not yeah. Worlds. I thought that'd be pretty good. I want a Marvel crossover. I want the Avengers to be fighting a war. What? And then out of nowhere, <laughs> da 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 da. 
dun dun, and Optimus Ring comes out of nowhere, and then he's like, Autobots, we're in pursuit. And then you see the auto, dude, I lose my shit. I lose my sanity. They're so good. Your mom's so good. Oh! <laughs> this was the door, and you walked clean. Right into it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, great questions. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go to the final store. This is probably gonna go into like a more of a nighttime hut, but it is what it is, home dogs. Could you take what you get, and you don't throw a fit. As the afternoon falls. The rest of the hunt will reach the Walmart position. <laughs> are you ready? We are at Walmart. Walmart. And we're gonna go check it out. Uh, it's nighttime, yeah. of course. We have to do these toy hunts whenever I get off of work, and that's in the evening. So we don't have much daylight when we start. So we gotta get what we get, and we can't catch a fit. Why do I keep saying that? All right, guys, so we're unsure exactly what we're going to find, but that's why we're here. Yeah. And, right. <laughs> I expect nothing. Minimum. You expect nothing? Minimum. I expect stuff, but just old stuff we've already seen. Yeah. Nothing new. We're here. Do we not shop this way? Dog life. Holy heck. Oh, what? <laughs> Whoa! It's all stuff we've seen already, but man, this thing is loaded. So you obviously are wrong when you said there'll be nothing, because quite frank, if you just take a glance, there's quite a bit. There's even Megatron here. I was yeah. actually, I was actually <laughs> the boy. Dude, look at all the Mega. Look at this. You got this Megatron, like the Studio Series, of course you got Scavenger too. But you got this Megatron, you got this Megatron, a line of him. You come over this way, you got this Megatron, the first siege. You got the Netflix Megatron. <laughs> Megatron has been taking over this store for a long, periodically time. This was the same store where I was like, you know, looking at the Dark and Moon Megatrons at the bottom and I was like, another Megatron, another Megatron. Same place. Megatron is still taking over this Walmart. My whatsoever, God! Whatsoever, no mercy. We got a scavenger up there. We've got some 35th anniversary stuff. Same thing over there. Some first edition Siege. We've got a lot of Netflix here. What I like about it is that you have the three versions of War for Cybertron. You got the Earthrise, the Netflix, the, and the, actually the four. There's four: the 35th Earthrise, Netflix, and then the first edition. Whoa, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen this before. A blaster. Wait, wait. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I, th I remember there being a post. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. Where, like, I think one of the official Transformers accounts was asking us to vote on what exclusive they want next. And it was either out of blaster or something else. And I think most people probably chose blaster... And I think that's what this is. I think this is like the new blaster that people voted on and then they actually released it. I could be wrong, but I have never seen this. I've always seen the sound wave. I love it because we had the sound wave in Walmart. Now we have the blaster. So that's actually really cool. Uh, it's only one Earthrise leader. Double dealer and he's in shape. His box is in shape. He too. has not been double dealed. <laughs> I'm actually surprised to see Studio Series 34. This is before the B Movie Optimus. This guy's been around. He's been around for a while. And I still haven't bought him. Still haven't bought him. Would be nice to buy him though, considering that I'm getting all the Dark of the Moon stuff. I'm just, with leader class figures, 50 bucks. It's just so hard for me to pay that. <laughs> just, there you go, Megatron. Take it, splooch. I'm really looking at the KOs. Uh, and I like the masterpiece style figures and the three A's. That's where my eyes are going. I'm an adult collector, so I like the more expensive figures than that. I mean, that's 50 bucks, but I don't think it's worth it. Whereas I can take that 50 bucks and apply it towards a better figure and be in love. 
So that's kind of where my mind is. I like hunting for these though. I like still showing you guys what these guys have because it's really exciting to find new stuff here. But for my own personal collection, I like the more upscale figures, more expensive, um, which is why it steadily increases my, uh, my, my collection. But to show them once again, this is a wide of the Walmart that we've only been to, I think, one other time um, in... Scott. I'm getting blown up. I'm getting blown up. The blaster was a shock. The double dealer is a shock. And the fact that we still have a Megatron for Dark of the Moon leader class for Studio Series, it's a shock as well. This has been a great episode. Yes. I enjoyed it. Not bad. This is the probably the longest we've done in a while because now it's nighttime. <laughs> so we gotta go home because your boy gotta work in the morning. But if you guys liked it, please slam dunk Kobe style. Kobe style. I like on it, baby. <laughs> Ballin'. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We've got more stuff on the way. Click that post notification bell. Yeah, boy. Join the family. <laughs> And this is your epic toy hunter. This is Leo. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I dodged that, dude. Was it me? You came for me. Please tell me they have Black Panther. Jesus Christ, this is the third store. Let's see. Let's they got see. that cable. We got cable. Just cable. I think that's a Deadpool 2 cable. Just Some cable. people are looking for that one, too. Just cable. Nothing special, though. Your mom's not special. Well, I <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah. I resign. I submit my letter of resignation. <laughs> oh, you made it. <laughs> and I caught it, too. Really? <laughs> yeah.